exclamation everybody and welcome back to sunday ramblings in cube world uh this is episode 23 24 24 episode 24 uh this will be a little bit longer episode uh because i actually have time now it is um i'm not doing it last minute here uh it is for me right now uh saturday night uh january the 4th happy new year to everybody uh, it is now, well, well, we're a few days into 2014 as it is. And as is typically, uh, typically typical, <laughs> am I, am I coining my own phrases here? As is, as is typically done at the beginning of the year, um, you try to get all of your, uh, your goals and stuff, uh, sorted out for, for what the new year is going to hold. And I've been trying to do the same thing, um particularly with the channel. Uh, now, my channel is not even a year old yet. Uh, I started it in July, uh, right after, uh, actually, Cube World here. Um, went uh, went public, the alpha of it, anyway. Um, so, it's, uh, so, this is just month six for me. <laughs> but uh, I still, there's, I can't be... Um, I couldn't be happier as to how it's it's gone so far. Um, you know, it's I'm doing more videos than I thought I possibly could have done in the beginning. You know, there was a reason I started out with just Cube World and a little bit of Minecraft. It's because I wasn't quite sure if I'd be able to keep up the pace and keep up the um, you know I, the desire is always there. It's just whether or not I can actually find the time number one and number two um you know find the 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 games and and just play through them and and, and you know just just stick with it you know it's, it's it's hard when you're first starting out to try to say okay yes i'm gonna stick with this you know i enjoy playing games but do i enjoy playing games and also <laughs> recording at the same time and yes i actually do uh and it's it has continued um so I'm going to talk. I'm going to interdisperse a little bit of my plans along with uh, talking about some games this time around, and I'm going to try to keep my talk about games to things that uh, maybe I haven't discussed yet. Although, obviously, if I'm discussing the future or what I'm going to do with the channel uh, coming up, I'm also going to discuss things that I've already dealt with. Um, but before I do any of that, first of all, um, something I did in the last episode there, and I didn't make any mention of it, um, right at the end, I found a, um, a recipe, one of the mobs dropped, and it was for this red weapon here, which I'm, which I'm currently wielding, this, this, uh, this bow. Now, you know me and how I prefer the crossbow as opposed to a regular bow. However, the reason I'm giving this bow a good a good shot here is because from it's my understanding that weapons that show up as red are ones that aren't quite balanced yet. They're ones that are sort of broken. And they're also extremely rare. So I wanted to try this out. I want to try this bow out because I have a feeling that it's going to be, even though it doesn't look, the stats on it don't look very epic, I have a feeling that since it's probably one of the ones that's broken, it's uh, it's going to have some uh, nice side effects <laughs> to it. And already I, I'm kind of liking how fast it fires. Uh, it's almost as as much as my crossbow is. And uh, you know, the secondary fire, fire is like those three bolts uh, rather than just one big one. But it still has a chance of knocking things down so uh, I'm not losing too much in that regard I don't think so we're gonna try it out and see how it is and and you know if I like it I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with it and, and besides that at least this is one that I obtained through killing something uh, the I, I don't know if, I, I think I mentioned it before but the crossbow that I had there that the epic one that I've been using a lot of that was actually I quite literally found that laying on the ground. That was some NPC had killed a mob along the way and 
of course, they don't, NPCs don't pick anything up, so that was just left there on the ground. I literally walked by and saw this crossbow, this epic crossbow that I've been using, um, just lying on the ground. So this is the first sort of quote-unquote epic weapon that I've actually <laughs> le legitimately obtained, I suppose you could say, or obtained through killing something myself, I should say, because the other one is legitimate. And I'm going to keep the other one. I'm not going to sell it. It's, it's going to be there. I just want to try this one out and see what I can do here. Um, and also, my plan for this episode is I'm going to do some exploring, um, obviously in this canyon here. But there's a, um, a quest marker off in the distance there that I'm going to explore. And then I'm going to try moving into another biome because we've, we've seen this, you know, sort of uh, fall forest biome quite a lot. Uh, so I want to move on and see if I can find another biome while I'm out here. So, in the meantime, uh, some Cube World, uh, some more information on Cube World has just come out uh, this week and a little bit, actually I think both of these came out this week. Uh, and it's, it's, I mean, it's exciting for me, very, very exciting. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of naysaying, of course, um, because no definitive dates have been, have been uh, released, but... Seriously, I just, as for a guy who has continually played this game and didn't really give up on it, I did, I'll be honest, I did, you know, my, my videos did have a break there for a few weeks uh, while I tried to figure out how to continue recording without it being very repetitive. But uh, I, I even continued to play the game even then. So I've been pretty much playing this game on a weekly basis uninterrupted since July so I really enjoy this game uh, even more so in many cases than Minecraft and most of that is because you know I enjoy Minecraft and I always go back to Minecraft all the time I don't spend inordinate amounts of uh, time in there like I'll, I'll um, I might play it religiously for a month or so and then It'll kind of wane. My, my desire to play it will wane. And then I'll play other things. And then I'll come back to it eventually. Like maybe two, three months afterwards. Which is why none of my Minecraft series out there are ones that I have committed to doing every week. Because I just know that my desire to play the game waxes and wanes a lot. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that I don't get a lot of time to play. Um... About an hour uh, is usually how much I can do in one sitting of a, of a game, usually, because I'll have to get up and, you know, do errands or something else will grab my attention. Or I just won't have time with, you know, work and everything else. Um, so, the reason I, I enjoy um, cube world a lot more than 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 minecraft in that regard is because i feel like i can get things accomplished in a half an hour in cube world you know whereas in minecraft it's very difficult like if i wanted to sit down and say okay i want to build a bridge and i want to do this and that it'll take me probably a half an hour to 45 minutes just to mine the resources necessary to do it and then I'll get halfway through the project and realize I still don't have enough or I want a different kind of block and then I gotta go find it so it's very difficult and that's kind of thing that always um, sort of pushes me away from Minecraft too is that I get tired of the um, not being able to sit down in one session and get something accomplished you can it really depends on what you're doing if you're trying to do building stuff especially for me where I'm not a very good builder um, it's you know you sit there for half an hour and you build something and, you, and then you look at it and you go man this is just absolute crap <laughs> everything I've done here is crap and that last half an hour is was a complete waste um, or you sit down and you do it and you're like okay I've got this is coming along pretty well um, but then you, you have to leave, you have to do something else. You come back to it later and you've lost your inspiration. 
and you go off and do something else and then you have all these unfinished projects just lying around that you just can't get to <laughs> which happens to me more often than I than I care to want to admit to and if I ever do get through my back catalog of videos that I have stored up for uh, with my uh, Minecraft FTD stuff you'll see that in my world where I have the city that I'm building and nothing is in any kind of state of completion. <laughs> I mean, there's things that I will say are complete, but I'm always preferencing them with, they're complete for now. I need to do the aesthetic work later and very rarely even get around to that aesthetic work. Whereas something like this, now that being said, I would like some, some uh, building aspects uh, in Cube World. But I like the concept that Wally originally put out, which was um, you can find blueprints and then those blueprints will craft, you know, structures that are already been prefabbed, right? You just say, okay, right here on this mountaintop, I want a prefabbed uh, house and because I have blueprints for it. And then bing, bam, boom, you're done. That I, I really like because I think that keeps with the spirit of this game, which is you can jump in for a half an hour and actually feel like you've accomplished something. Now, the early stages of the game, not so much. And uh, some of the updates that have been announced, it sounds like the early stages of the game are getting a lot of tender love and care right now where there's going to be a lot of new balancing going on and a lot of effort put into getting you into the, you know, making you be able to have progress or feel like you're making progress a lot more than what I suffered through, which was, you know, a whole bunch of quests and then, or trying to do quests and failing miserably and then uh, not being able to get the drops I need for my, for my class. And this is something I'm going to explain a little bit later too. I'm going to revisit um, because this is something that hasn't been talked about yet, but I think would be useful but in before i get too far off on a tangent uh the the information that just came out this week about uh, cube world is number one the quest system is starting to shape up now uh instead of the random daily quests um that i have now that you get now in the game where it's just you know as soon as you sleep in an inn um you get new quest markers around that just randomly generate around in the biome. Um, instead, each biome, each land, because uh, these are lands, this is the lands of Aslan, for instance, um, each land will have a dungeon, monster, and mini quests. Okay? These will always be there in that land, so they'll get generate with the land. It's just basically... Here's all the places in the land where you need to go to, to have quests. And then each one gives you some kind of reward now. Which is good. Other than just random drops. Um, on top of that, there's going to be one main random quest line in each land. So whatever that means. Probably similar to what we have now. Except, um, well, except maybe it doesn't change when you sleep in an inn. I, I, I don't know yet. There's That's all the details I, I have is from, from that tweet. Um, the other piece of information that came out is that you'll be able to teleport now to towns. Once you've, once you've discovered a town, uh, through some means or another, you'll be able to teleport back to that town whenever you need to. So instead of making the long trip like I do now, uh, back and forth, usually at the end of my videos, <laughs> Um, there will now be a way for me to, to just say, Hey, I want to teleport back to town right now and drop off, you know, get some supplies and, you know, uh, sell some of my stuff and whatnot. So that'll be awesome. Um, again, I think the one thing that hasn't been touched, and this is, this is what I was alluding to a little bit earlier though, is the, um, is the, the class based loot stuff now from what i've noticed from my my ranger here my early levels like levels 1 through 12 
Yeah, maybe even maybe even a little bit longer than that. Maybe one through twenty, I'd say. I could not get any good gear as loot drops. Um, I could craft some stuff, but your crafting is limited to your current power level, and most of the stuff you craft is not as good as the stuff that you can uh, get off of mob drops um, and get out of dungeons. The problem is most of the dungeons that I, you know, that were around my spawn area uh, just were simply, I was getting good loot, but the loot was not something I could use. Like, it, I can't tell you how many times I got uh, these great shields and uh, swords and all that stuff that just they're for mages or they're for or, well, well, they're for warriors or they're for rogues or some other class and it was it, it actually gets frustrating after a while when you're when you're when I was first starting I was getting very very frustrated in fact you can probably hear me talk about that frustration in uh, an earlier video if you can bear <laughs> watching one of my earlier videos um, yeah it's it, I think that's the next thing I'm hoping that Wally addresses. Um, and he can take his time as far as I'm concerned with the building and the blueprint stuff. Uh, because if you're going to do the blueprint stuff, I really, really hope that there's some kind of mannequin or, or um, some kind of armor stand or something like in Skyrim where you can just take some of these weapons that you found even if they're not for your class and just put them on display rather than selling them because I found so many so many epic things that I ended up just selling off to you know some shady merchant who can't really appreciate it <laughs> all that all that much uh, so it would be nice to be able to you know if I'm gonna have a house be able to do that stuff um, so that's it. That's that's what I have so far as far as Cube World goes. No word on on you know when a new alpha will be out or or anything of that nature. Um, there are a lot of changes so far been that have been announced uh, for this next release. Whenever it comes out, uh, it has me slightly worried <laughs> in that. Uh, I may, it may be so, uh, there may be enough changes that I have to abandon this world or abandon this character. I don't know yet. I have no idea. Um, I mean, it's just getting good now for me. <laughs> but then again, you know, all good things must come to an end at some point. And I am, what, level 52, almost 53 now. Uh, so, yeah, it probably makes sense for me to start over at some point I always had the idea that there would be in fact I named this map season one because I always had the idea there would be multiple seasons especially given that it's still an alpha um, an alpha release so we'll see we'll see what happens I'll play it by ear but I'll, I'll still be still be excited one way or the other for that for those changes um, so some more things um let's do some news here there's there's two pieces of news that i that i have one i i actually had for last week that i didn't talk about and one that i have for this week so we'll get the one from last week first uh red five studios they're the uh creators of firefall this is a firefall is a multiplayer like mmo um with rpg elements that's a sci-fi sci-fi mmo rpg I guess would be the full full acronym there. Um, and I've played around in it. I have it. I, I'm part of the beta. I think it's an open beta. Um, and it's, it's, as far as I remember, free right now. Free to play. And then you can, you know, there's, there's cosmetic microtransaction things in there. Um, but I haven't played it in ages, and really it came down to I ran out of stuff to do in there. Uh, it was very content sparse uh, last I checked. Like I was able to get through most of the the quest missions that they had pretty much in one day, and 
you know that I don't get a whole lot of time to play. So that was probably maybe two hours. Um, and then I never went, I haven't been back to it in ages because it, I just haven't heard any news that anything had been different. Um, and it turns out that there's, based upon some news articles and, and things that have been said by verified sources on Reddit, it turns out that the, the company, Red5 Studios, uh, they were very, um, their focus was not as much as on the game as it really should have been. And it seems like the other shoe fell uh, recently where uh, the board, board of directors of Red 5 Studios uh, basically terminated the, uh, the CEO, uh, what was his name, uh, Mark Kern. Um, and uh, there were threads on Reddit about, about it, to, about some of the internal workings of what was going on, why the focus wasn't where it really should have been. Um, you know, and how this guy, he really, you know, the studio was struggling for money and, and this guy brought the money in, but he didn't necessarily bring the focus that, that was needed. Um, so hopefully, uh, with all this, with those changes, hopefully they, um, the devs and the team in general can get back onto uh, the business of making uh, Firefall because I would love to jump back in there again and uh, and play around in it, uh, especially now that I have a multiplayer series. It, it would make sense for me to do that from time to time. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I, I might I might jump back into it even now and see if if anything has changed since the last time I I looked at it. So that was one piece of news. That was that was I've had I've been holding on to that for a little while. <laughs> um, the other piece of news that I saw this week, uh, Gearbox. They are the you know, what are they a publisher or are they developer? I believe they're a developer um, or a developer publisher. Um, they were the ones who have taken control of the Homeworld license, uh, Homeworld and Homeworld 2. Uh, those of you unfamiliar, that those were THQ properties, and uh, THQ uh, basically dissolved earlier in, well, earlier in 2013. And um, they, in, in that process, all of their intellectual property was up for grabs, and Gearbox uh, got their hands on the Homeworld properties. Now, I... I, and I've said this numerous times, I loved Homeworld. I loved home, the original Homeworld. Um, I never played Homeworld 2. Uh, I just didn't have the money at the time to, to buy it. Um, and I'd heard some some things about it that suggested that it wasn't as good as I would hope it to be. Um, but that being said, that was ages ago, and I, you know, I might revisit those because uh, I definitely would revisit Homeworld 1, and I might even just in the process revisit Homeworld 2. We'll see. Um, but along those same lines, um, they uh, Gearbox sent out a sort of questionnaire type thing to fans of Homeworld and Homeworld 2, uh, asking them several questions about what they would like to see in in a you know in the game and and in the universe and a few other sort of leading questions that lead us to believe that or lead you know the polygon author anyway to believe that um, there might be you know some perhaps a new spiritual successor to homeworld uh, there was already been one uh announced uh, it was called like shipbreakers or something home home front shipbreakers or something like that and they're we know that they're renaming that to home world uh, shipbreakers possibly um, to take advantage of the of the home world license and that is uh, very it is an RTS as far as I know so it is very much in the style of home world uh, just it wasn't in the universe because they didn't have the license for it but now it sounds like it will be um, so maybe some of these questions are to try to improve or to try to change um, that game but also along the way they've announced that they're going to re-release 
Homeworld and Homeworld 2 uh, HD editions. So all new, um, you know, set pieces, all new um, cutscenes are being redone from what I understand. Uh, I don't know about the audio or anything like that. I, I don't know if they're going to keep Yes's audio in there or if they're going to do something new or if it's, you know... They're gonna redo the vocals. I haven't. I don't think there was any information on that. I didn't see it anyway. I briefly skimmed the article. Apologies to the person on Polygon that wrote it, but yeah, <laughs> I was I, I was a little strapped for time. Um. So yeah, that 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 is all very exciting stuff, and and you know I I would consider you know getting back into the home world and getting those HD remakes. Even though I have the original Homeworld here, um, getting those HD remakes and you know, just uh, maybe even recording. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll have to see. Perhaps it, perhaps it's better than I even remember it, or perhaps it's not. Oh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what what happens uh, when that when that comes to pass. Uh, what else here? Okay, so some things on my channel what kind of directions am i looking at and what am i trying to do now i've mentioned a few times that i'm trying to keep a variety in my channel uh that's going to be a little difficult to maintain because there's a few things coming up that uh, i intend on recording or i intend on releasing recordings of one is uh, wing commander saga which sadly uh, I did not get as much time to edit as I had hoped I would. That was my that was my one singular goal for this vacation that I had from work, and uh, everything else took my time away. <laughs> Just all this multiplayer stuff and uh, Soul Zero. I mean, completely caught me by surprise, and now has sucked me in incredibly, uh, which I will talk about in another in another minute or so here. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to try to maintain as much of a variety as I can. That said, uh, Wing Commander Saga will be coming soon. Uh, I don't have an idea for when yet because I still have some work to do there as far as editing goes. Uh, and recording some side things and figuring out how I can integrate them into my already recorded stuff. Uh, and... But I, I've completely finished that game, so you know there's nothing more to do in, from that front. Uh, also, what else? The uh, Ethereum is still in its beta. It's a new beta is supposed to come out this month. I just got a an update from the Kickstarter there. Um, I have said no, multiple times that I want to do at least before the full release comes out do a, uh, a video, another follow-up video where I look at the uh, simulator missions. They still haven't been fleshed out yet, and rightfully so. It's, you know, the, the dev got through all the story missions. They, they are more important. Uh, and that's what he, he wanted to focus on, and, he, and that worked out quite well from what I've seen. I haven't gone through any of the story, really, uh, because I don't want to spoil it for myself too much, uh, which probably makes me the worst beta tester <laughs> in the history of the world um that said uh i do want to try to do a follow-up of that that unfortunately i'm going to end up in a situation where uh i'm going to have both wing commander saga running and probably ethereum running because that is scheduled for this year um and it looks like it's nearly there now so it's just a little bit of artwork left so uh well, I'll have to see what I can do with that. Probably I'll do, you know, one on a Saturday and the other one on a Sunday just to kind of break it up a little bit. Um, and also, uh, six videos a weekend. This is incredible. <laughs> I never thought that I'd be able to maintain that kind of... Uh, um, that kind of pace... And I probably won't be able to maintain that kind of pace, but I will keep it up for as long as I can. Um, there are... I, I've been considering 
possibly changing the schedule so that maybe I do Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Um, but again, I don't. My 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 biggest fear is that I'll miss my consistency. I won't be consistent in something, right? And that's really what I want to try to do. Is I want to be as consistent as possible. The reason I started out Saturdays and Sundays is because, well, a I'm not working usually usually um and be uh doing two videos a week which is what i was originally planning on doing uh is doable when you have that much lead time you know what i mean uh, i was not planning on doing as many as as many series as i have been doing especially having them long running series like this like uh starbound is going to be one of those series that may never end um until eventually I just finally give in and put a goal up for myself. Uh, Soul Zero probably will eventually end, but not for a while, because I, I do intend to get through pretty much all the maps in that game. Um, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see, because it, it's going to get probably repetitive at some point, but maybe there will be some end game goal there where I can just say, look, once I get a terraforming project running on all these maps, then then <laughs> the game is officially over. Um, and of course, that's still an alpha, so you know anything can change with that. Um, and on the same note with Soul Zero, uh, Soul Zero sort of awakened something in me that was, excuse me, kind of there, just lurking under the surface. Uh, and I, I think I, I think it might have convinced me, um, to sort of go this direction. I've been on the fence about Kerbal Space Program for a very long time. Like I watched lots of videos on it. You know, I watched Kurt's, uh, Kurt's videos. I watched Zisto's videos on it. Um, and I, I enjoy it. I, I, I like what I see there. I, I was watching Kurt's videos back when he was doing the very early versions of it. When there was very little to the game and now you know i i've been watching some more lately and the game has changed a lot there's a lot more depth to that game and it's still not even it's still not done yet it's still not even version one yet it's still zero point something um so i'm sort of you know again soul zero sort of got me in this mood where i'm like you know i'm really considering purchasing a uh, Kerbal Space Program and potentially, we'll see, potentially uh, recording it. Because um, I think that would be pr pretty cool, pretty damn cool. Um, I, again, like what I see there. It, it's still a bit, there's a lot of sim to it. Um, and I, that's the part that sort of gives me the, the, um, angina a little bit is that I, I i'm not sure uh whether i can stick with it um that's that's the part that that worries me like i don't really want to start a series and then get four videos in and go you know what this sucks <laughs> i mean i don't think i i don't think the game sucks but i it, for me i might lose um interest in it uh, and that's what i'm trying to avoid as much as i possibly can of course that being said um i've noticed and and this seems to be like the norm for much of youtube now i've noticed a lot of youtube content creators are sticking to 20 to 25 minute videos um as such i'm starting to try to do the same thing uh so rather than have a definitive start and end to a lot of my videos I'm starting to actually cut them off in the middle and break it up into two two episodes uh, you'll see this coming up with soul zero not uh, not the one I released uh, today Saturday uh, but the one I released next week you'll notice that I I cut it off at a sort of a cliffhanger a little bit I mean as much as a, as much of a cliffhanger as you could probably get uh, in the game as it exists right now, uh, because I did play for a full hour and I was looking at it and I'm like, you know, um, 
it just so happens that something happens in the middle of my play session that would make for a little bit of a a little bit of a cliffhanger i thought you know let me just let me just do this let me split this off into two um the only problem with that is you don't get my you don't get my normal uh exclamation everybody uh at the beginning of it but i also did something similar with uh saturday morning rpg um at least with the intra episodes because a couple of the episodes of that uh the a couple of the game episodes i should say uh took me a few hours to do and i wasn't going to upload a 2 hour video because <laughs> Ain't nobody going to spend the time watching that. Um, so I am going to try to adopt that same thing. Right now it seems like I'm falling in the 25 to 30 minute range. And I may stay, I may stick with that 25 to 30 minute range for a little while. Uh, I may try to drop it down to the 20 minutes, uh, 20 to 25. We'll see. Uh, it, with the exception of this uh, video, or this this series, I should say, the my Sunday ramblings, this will always be like 45 minutes to an hour, depending on what I have to talk about. Unless I, you know, unless I run into a situation like last week where I have forgotten um, to record something and it's <laughs> and it's midnight and something needs to get done, then I might I might shorten it. Um, during those periods of time but for now this one's going to be a long form um, but for everything else I'm going to try to do that try to adopt that um, standard if you will since that seems to be what everyone else is doing uh, so yeah um, that is what I'm planning at least from that from that phase so possibly Kerbal Space Program we'll see um, we'll see what I do there uh, the other thing is uh, next car game i did a uh, video on that uh side quest video on that uh i'm enjoying that that's far far away from that's pre pre alpha that's far far away from ever being released but that will be probably a car game that i want to record as well uh when that eventually comes out because i do like some i do like racing games even though i suck horribly at them i do enjoy them um, when they're not too simmy and I put that on there because I have been following project cars for a while and that one seems like it's going to be a little bit too simmy. Um, but I'll reserve my judgment of that until, uh, I actually can get something in my hands, um, to play. And on the same, on the same, uh, in the same breath, uh, I've also been keeping my eyes peeled for more racing games that I might enjoy. Um, I played back in the day Nitronic Rush. Um, that was about a half an hour game that was made by several um, students at uh, DigiPen, um, the video gaming institute society, you know, learning majigger <laughs> college. That's That's the word I was looking for. Um, they, uh, those students created Nitronic Rush that was released for free. It's still out there. I think you can still, you can still download it. Um, I enjoyed that. They went on to create a studio called, uh, Refract, Refract Studios. Uh, they've been working ever since then on, uh, the successor to Nitronic Rush called Distance. And I've been... Popping in every every once in a while to see if there's been any updates. I follow them on Twitter and whatnot. Uh, they've been pretty quiet, um, I would say. Uh, there is an alpha out there, but it's a closed one, uh, as far as I know. Uh, so I'm kind of waiting for more information on that because it, it sounds like it's going to be. Because well, I mean, I enjoyed Nitronic Rush, so I, I imagine that I will enjoy Distance as well. Uh, so that would be probably, given the timeline of things, if that actually comes out this year, <laughs> that would probably come out before next car game, and I, I that would probably be the first racing um, series that I do on my channel, unless I find unless I come across something else, which I I haven't yet. So we'll we'll, we'll see what happens there. Um, I really would like an open worldy one, 
but I I can I can live with the just go from one track to the other as well. Um. So what else am I looking at? So first of all, um, Star Wars Three Civil War. I I've mentioned this a few times that uh, I actually got a request to play the game, and I I I bought it and. I started to play it. I have about three hours of recording, and I got horribly stuck. And then a whole bunch of things happened, and a whole bunch of other games came out, and I I haven't gotten back to it in a few months. And because of that, I do intend to get back to it, and I do intend to play it. But because it's been such a long time, I forget how to play it, and I forget the story. <laughs> so what I will do is I'm probably going to delete all of my footage I had, the three hours of footage I had, and start over from the beginning. I know that there was a lot of reading in that game, so and I did do a bunch of reading on camera. Uh, I think I'm going to, the second time around, not do that, because I'll just get the general gist of things and then move on. Um, that might be bad for the story, but... Um, Literally, there were reams and reams and reams of documents in there to, to read, and it would have been, it would have turned into Reading Simulator 2014 if I or 2013 in that case, uh, <laughs> if I had if I do that. So that is still on my list that I hope to get around to. Other things that are on my list; these are sort of relatively unknown uh, sci-fi games that I. Um, decided that I want to try to take on uh, because they are uh, how can I put this they have a stigma around them <laughs> uh, as far as their quality is concerned a lot of the same stigma that Starpoint Gemini 1 had and I played Starpoint Gemini 1 and loved the hell out of it so I want to attempt to uh, play some of these games and see what I can do one of them is called um, where is it at? I I wrote it down here somewhere. <laughs> I wrote everything in this like five by five little box <laughs> to try to save paper. Now I can't read anything, and and the name just literally just escaped me. Um, where where is it? Uh, Precursors. Yes, yes, that is the name of it. Because I I have a lot of things with starting with P here so it's <laughs> it's giving me trouble trying to remember everything uh, Precursors is a sci-fi first person shooter with um, RPG elements so kind of like your uh, Deus Ex type of thing but not uh, you know maybe not quite the same uh, and not too many people have played it because it it was kind of bad <laughs> as far as it needed several patches and then even then it's they were mostly Russian language patches not game patches um, however I found uh, some community mods to the game that actually improve upon it and make it so that it it's more or less playable um, so I might try that at some point. I haven't gotten very far in it. I, I've only done the tutorial and maybe a little bit just to try to get a little taste of, of what's in store there. To see if it would be anything even remotely that I would enjoy. Um, so that is also something else on my list to try to record and, and maybe do a series on. Um, in addition to that, uh, I found a couple other games online uh, that I want to try. I, I've, I've played, uh, you know, I've, I've tried them a little bit and I want to try to actually play the, the full game for them. One of them is called uh, Zigfrack. Uh, very odd name, but uh, it's it is a 3D um, mouse driven fighter game right uh, space space fighter game um it's got kind of a weird ui to it it's got like this weird window framed you know ui where 
your sort of your eye gets kind of cluttered after a while. Um, but I, I started to play it a little bit, and it's intriguing. I'm intrigued by it, and I might uh, I might sit down and and actually play that and record. Um, it's just one of those things on my list of things to eventually do. Um, it's there's no there's nothing really special about it that I could point out and say, oh, it's, 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 you know, it's like this, but not quite. Um, it just, I, I, that's about all I can really describe it as. It's, it's just a, uh, 3d, um, third person space fighter, you know, mouse driven game. There, there was some physics in it. So, you know, you have to overcome momentum and, and things of that nature. But, uh, yeah, I can't really, and it's got, you know, RPG elements to it. Um, so I, it's about the best I can describe it. It's one of those things where I kind of have to make a video and, and then you get, you can see what I'm talking about. Um, on this, along the same lines of that too, there's, there's Starlight Inception, uh, which I have the beta of that. Those two sort of go hand in hand because they're about the same concept, which is, you know, um, mouse driven um, space fighter game uh, so Starlight Inception actually got just a recent patch too I have to jump back in there again it's it's still very very early very early alpha there was not much to it there was some some space combat you could do but there wasn't much else to it yet so uh, it would probably be worthy of a video but not a series until until it's actually released um, on top of that, we've got a whole bunch of a whole bunch of things named Paragon. <laughs> now I've had Paragon Space Sim. Now it's actually just called Paragon, but I, I'm calling it Paragon Space Sim because there's another thing called Paragon, and it's the word Paragon is being used quite a lot. So this is the only way I can distinguish it from other things. Paragon Space Sim is a is a take on privateer essentially uh, I've had it on my uh, wing commander privateer I should say um, I have had it on my hard drive for ages now I've had the alpha 2 on there and now the alpha 3 and I've been meaning to record it but it's still not um, there's still not enough content in there I don't feel like I can do it justice yet until maybe the next alpha when there's a little bit more content. But essentially it's it's Wing Commander Privateer. So you, you go around, you do missions and all that stuff. But it's a simulation game. So you have to overcome uh, momentum. You have to overcome speed. Uh, so you, you know, if you travel and it, it takes place in our solar system so the moon mars jupiter all that stuff and then there's a bunch of uh space stations and, and whatnot to to visit um but if you fly somewhere manually you have to basically fly at the you know fly at the moon say um and then before prior to reaching the moon you've got to basically flip your ship around and retro fire uh to slow down enough so that you don't just crash into the moon. Um, and, and in fact, the autopilot, uh, it doesn't, it didn't do it this, you know, in Alpha 3, but in Alpha 2, the autopilot used to um, actually flip you around and uh, and do all the slowdowns for you, uh, which I still use the autopilot because it actually, it actually speeds up time as well. So like, you know, if you wanted to do real time from Earth to, to the moon, um, it's going to take you probably several hours to do it in real time unless you do the the time dilation stuff um and then from there it's just you know go to a space station pick up a pick up a mission from the mission board and it's either you know deliver supply somewhere or it's uh destroy some uh some enemies uh what have you and whatnot i still haven't gotten a combat mission yet so i don't I haven't been able to play that yet to see how the combat feels. Most of the missions I've gotten are just 
deliver items and and it's all time based too so you have to deliver the item within two days or something like that or four hours or whatever um or else the mission fails so it, there's good concepts there uh it's a good start it's just there haven't there hasn't been enough there yet that i feel like i can do it any justice with a video yet so i've been sort of having it sitting on my hard drive all this time i dig into it every once in a while and then just to see if i can do it any kind of justice but uh not yet so but you know you might want to go over i'll leave links as always uh, you might want to go over to IndieDB Indie and take a look at it and download the alphas yourself and, and you know maybe you'll get it excited for it as well as much as I am. Um, so the other Paragon thing is called Paragon Evolved. And this one is a first person shooter, sci-fi first person shooter. Uh, straight up first person sci-fi shooter. It's got a story mode. It's got, um, I believe it has some multiplayer as well. Um, it's also got, I don't know if it has, don't quote me on the multiplayer. Uh, it had um, uh, wave mode. So you, you go and fight waves and waves of enemies. Um, it's essentially, the best way I can describe it, it looks, I don't know if it looks like Halo, but it, it reminds me a lot of the Halo series of things. Um, so I'm looking, I'm looking at that too, because I, I'm a big fan of Halo. So, um, it's not, uh, as far as I know, it's not, you're not like a master chief, like individual. You're just a regular mook. Like, um, what was the one? Halo, Halo reach? Not, no, not reach. Um, Halo, uh, uh, the one with Nathan Fillion doing the voiceover of the guy. It was, yeah, I, the name escapes me, but yeah, kind of more like uh, ODST. That's what it is. Um, kind of like more like that I, I, is is the feeling that I got from it. Um. So what else do we have here? So as far as the multiplayer stuff goes that I've been looking at, so I looked at uh, Darkfield Alpha. I mentioned this, um, I think one or two videos ago. Um, I want to, uh, I, I played that. I, I managed to play a little bit of it. It's very, very, very early. It's like a tech demo right now. So I can't really say how it's going to play or not play. It's, it just is what it is right now. But that's a multiplayer, you know, sitting in a space fighter, um, flying around, shooting things up um, game. So I'm keeping my eye on that. Um, Entropy is a space um, spaceship MMO um, RPG. Uh, I still haven't figured out how to actually play that game. Um, it is very reminiscent of like WoW. Uh, it has those that same kind of UI, you know, third person, you know fighter thing mining and all this stuff um not fighter but space spaceship thing um there's quests and whatnot in there and it's all multiplayer it's all mmo i just haven't figured out how to actually play the game yet <laughs> it's just not it's not quite intuitive yet i'm i'm kind of there's things I can do, apparently, but I can't figure out how to do them. <laughs> the UI is kind of confusing, too. So um, I haven't done a video on that yet because I, I it would just be five minutes of me going, I, what what, what do I do now? <laughs> Which I'm sure would be hilarious, but it, still. <laughs> um, and something else I'm looking for potentially doing um as a multiplayer thing spiral knights i played this game a while ago this is like a you're like a cartoonish robot thing and you're going into this core of the earth and you, it's the multiplayer of it it's it's all multiplayer but it's you know it's cooperative and you get randomly matched up with other people and you go through these maps and and uh try to collect loot and whatnot uh, i played this a while ago i played it on my linux machine actually 
played it a while ago, and I haven't been in it since, so I might drop back in there again and uh, take a look around and see if, hopefully it's not a wasteland. Um, you'll hear, uh, so episode three of Pub Crawl went out already. That was me playing Awesome Knots, uh, which I enjoy. That's, that's definitely going to be on the list of recurring things. Um, episode four, I intended it to be uh, Robot Roller Derby Disco Dodgeball. However, when I went in there, there were 13 players playing, but they were all in private sessions. So I ended up only having bots to play with. And that kind of defeats the purpose. So instead of making that episode four, and I, I, that's still in my list, I will still try to do it. But instead of making that episode four, I dropped over to the Play Minecraft server again because they're now in open beta and uh, played on there a little bit. Uh, the maps have changed uh, slightly again. So all my my video and all those strategies is all, <laughs> it's all bunk now. <laughs> <laughs> which I kind of figured it would be because it is still beta. So things are going to keep changing. Um, but there is a new map too. And uh, I talk about it a little bit. In fact, I, I think I play on it too in the recording. Um, so that's the thing. So that, that will be episode four. And then I have to figure out what I'm going to do for episode five yet. I, I might do spiral nights. I might drop into Mel realm of the mad God. Uh, cause it's been a while since I've been in there. I was hoping to put uh, Phoenix Universe of Space Combat on that list, but that the alpha of that um, still hasn't been released yet. It's, it still says soon as when it will be released. So hopefully this month I'll be able to drop into that. That's the um, spiritual, uh, well, not spiritual, but the, the um, subspace-like game where you have a 2D top-down space fighter um, multiplayer game uh, and that's looking really cool too it's looking a lot like subspace which is getting me very nostalgic for that uh, so that and that's that's pretty cool I, I I can't wait for that to come out I I will definitely be doing videos on that all right well I think that's good for now uh, I'm trying to get into this new biome here it looks like it's called Anno Island and we've got a bunch of high level things here. This looks like a new biome altogether here. It looks like it anyway. Um, so when we return next time, we will take on this new biome and probably all these dwarves. So I think that will do it for me for today. Thanks for watching everybody. Um, and I will see you next Sunday.